What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it picks up uh, where it pretty much left off. Actually, before we get that, well, we know Porsche is there. So you have um, what that girl name is? <laughs> How did I forget? Sheree. You have her, of course, being extra for absolutely no fucking reason. Now we know why she's being extra. Actually, fuck it. We gonna talk for a second. First and foremost, I think we all know why. <clears throat> Sheree has uh, her house out the way that she does. One of a few things, either A, Bravo told her that she would do this, or B, I mean, how can I say this? Sheree, not Sheree, Kenya knows that she's going to, you know, have people talking about her and uh, her place and the fact that it's not done yet. So go ahead, generate that buzz, generate that talk, and I mean, again, she's providing a storyline for Sheree because once the house is done then what you know what I'm saying again it's one of those where it's just like <clears throat> it's cut off right there I'm not only by bandwagon but I'm just saying then you got her saying to uh Portia do you know do you see the twitty uh my titty sweat and all this other shit and all I'm gonna say is this yes Kenya did say this was a soft opening but all that I will say is, <clears throat> if anybody going to throw shade, it's going to have to be somebody who didn't have a soft anything going on themselves, i.e. Sheree. Because did she not have, she by Sheree, and when it was time for the unveiling, did she not do a soft launch? Was it not a concept? Was she not displaying concept and not actual fabric? At least Kenya is actually showing you her fucking house. It might be 85% done, but I think that's a hell of a lot better to have people staring at some fucked up ass motherfucking drawing. So I'm gonna need for her to get that shit together. But Matt shows up. Matt is like, you know, I did bad. I was wrong. I had a flashback of fucking Empire where it was like, Andre messed up. Andre, like, I, <laughs> I got to him like, Matt, don't do it. Matt, don't do it. I'm not gonna be here for it, but. He didn't, but he said that he was wrong when she said that uh, she lost her uh, protector because that way he was supposed to vent it. And, you know, he went, you know, poco loco and poco. And it just is what the fuck it is. He says that he's going to work towards it. So we'll see uh, what happens from there. Okay, so Cynthia is um, <clears throat> with her daughter, Noelle. Um, pretty much talking about the whole divorce thing. Noelle's kind of shocked. That her mother is uh, going like all the way through with it, and she even asks her mother if she has uh, low self-esteem because she feels that okay, a woman, you know, wouldn't subject herself to all the different yelling and all the other stuff that she and uh, Peter went through, and even mentioned how her room is not that far away from there, so she heard it all, and that kind of shook. Cynthia, which I'm like, well, fuck, I mean, I'm pretty sure we should anybody else as well. <clears throat> Moving on from that, we got Todd and Candy. So, for those who don't know, Baby Ace has an Instagram. I'm not on the shit. I'm hardly on social media these days as it is any fucking way. But, he has an Instagram and has quite the audience. So, you know, Candy is all about that money. I can't be mad at her. And she will forever use Real Housewives of Atlanta to uh, pump her shit. So, they're coming out with a uh, Raising Ace baby line to sell baby shit. Hey, it is what the fuck it is. I guess we going, we went from Instagram fashion to fucking Instagram baby shit. Okay, go ahead, Todd and Candy. Candace. So, um, <laughs> then uh, the restaurant is brought up. It's supposed to have been done by Candy's birthday. It's not, so they're hoping that it's going to be done by Todd's birthday, which is August. So we'll see how this all plays out. Chances are, if it is done, they're probably going to have the season finale there. Just a, just a thought. If it happens, damn it, y'all heard it here first. Um, and then uh, Mama Joyce is asking about that, asking about um, uh, Kenya's uh, party, uh, putting out uh, what's the girl name Portia, all that good jazz, and you know she was just like questioning Phaedra but at the same exact time it's like you no know, Phaedra can go to some extreme lists to do some shit when so far I say that she should be sharing the share with Apollo I'm just like you know what mama just come to fuck through cause Candace ain't giving us shit right now so come on through with the mess you know um talked about Georgia Law how you know pretty much long story short if she really wanted to get divorced from Apollo 
you know, given the fact that he went to jail for such a grand thing, two years, Georgia can grant you a uh, divorce in two months, and one of their assistants actually looked up Georgia law. So Mama Joyce knew what she was talking about, did the dance and everything else, but you know what? Even though I don't always be here for Mama Joyce, if she finna bring us drama, damn it, I'm here for it, and I'm here for her. <clears throat> All right, so we don't got much. Uh, so we have uh, Kenya and Fakeitra, and then respectively, uh, Sheree and Horsha having their own conversations. But they kind of, um, they don't kind of. They actually, what's the word I'm looking for? They intertwine <laughs> with each other. So uh, Fakeitra's talking about how fucking Kenya's going this and third because she getting dick. Yeah, yeah, blah blah. Don't really care. The gist of it is, Fakeitra wants uh, to be divorce before she quote unquote wants to date we all know that's some fuck shit but we just gonna go ahead and play along with this for the damn storyline Horsha and Sheree um, Horsha is hosting an event and wants to get all the girls together so you have Fature telling that to Kenya Kenya whole thing is well I want to give the invite first and then we will move on from there we will see what happens then you have uh, Todd, Candace and uh, you know you know the two live crew you know they all at the restaurant. Todd whole thing is let me show them something to kind of calm their nerves. And, you know, of course, Mama Joyce in her damn confessional. She the only one got professional turn the fuck up. And seeing all the funny, crazy shit, but it is what the fuck it is. Oh, shit, the shade. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I, it's, like, seeing the previews is never good, especially when I'm trying to turn on the camera. So, um, Kenya finds out that Sheree been talking shit about her plays. We'll get to that soon enough. Cynthia and Peter meet up. Um, Cynthia is asking him why hasn't uh, he talked to, uh, you know, the uh, divorce attorney. Well, hers more or less. And his whole thing is, um, <clears throat> you know, divorce is not his priority or this whole thing. And apparently she's been at this place a lot longer than he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. The whole fucking nine. And, um... <clears throat> So there's that. Let's see what else. And you know, he started, and then he was like, I guess he had a heart attack or maybe symptoms of, went to the hospital. They asked, who would uh, he call this, that, and third? And then it donged on him. And in that moment, he wouldn't be calling anybody because Cynthia isn't there. You know, the whole thing. They start to have a teary eye moment. And then he says that all he wants to do is see her happy. So he ends up calling no dude and says, whatever you uh, need for me to sign, go ahead and send this. So. He just, like I said, he just being an ain't shit motherfucker dragging this shit out. But, I mean, you can tell that he's hurt. I mean, legit, you can tell he's hurt. But he's just doing the most with the least. Alright, so go ahead and wrap this up right quick. So, wait, why the fuck do I have my shit wrote like that? Ah, oh, okay, yeah, so... The uh, event that our uh, horse was putting together, I believe it was called Mr. Room, Escape Room, some shit like that, where there's clues and they have 30 minutes to try to figure out how the fuck to get out of the room, whatever. Team one is Kenya, Horsha, and Cynthia, which, you know, I will have to, you know, applaud um, Horsha for teaming up with, you know, two motherfuckers that she don't fucking like. I wouldn't have fucking did it. I'm just saying I'm petty as fuck, but it is what it is. Other team was uh, Sheree, Candy, and Phaedra. No one won. Kenya decides to address Sheree about, you know, the shit that she was saying. And Kenya whole thing is like, well, it, like if it was that deep, you could just fucking say something to me because everything that you were saying for the most part, I told everybody when they came to fuck in. So I don't see what the fuck the issue is. And it went from that to, you know, my name, my house is in my name, this, that, and the third. I was just like, well, here the fuck we go. And the shit that got me, that threw me all the way to fuck left was Kenya was just like, I'm already dealing with an aggressive man. I don't need to be dealing with another one. I'm done. I'm through. That's the end of the review. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see y'all ask for Mary Medicine, which is on right now. Holla.